Ken Whiting here with Paddle TV with yet another in-depth, unbiased gear review. And in this video, we are testing out Level 6's updated Emperor Dry Suit. Now, this baby here is designed to withstand pretty much whatever you can throw at it. Whether you're doing, you know, whitewater, sea kayaking, canoeing, any type of expedition, or even just a day trip in extreme weather conditions, that's what this thing is designed to handle. The question is, does it? And does it do it comfortably? And we're not gonna figure that out by looking at it. We're gonna to need to test this thing. So I'm gonna get this thing on, and we're gonna see how it does. Now, if you're not familiar with the dry suit, the dry suit is the ultimate protection against extreme weather or conditions. The idea behind it is pretty simple. You get into it and you stay completely dry. Theoretically, you should be able to get into a dry suit with your street clothes and hop out at the end of the day and be completely dry. The dry suit is great for people who get cold very easy, who want to extend their paddling season, or for people who are going to be paddling in freezing or near freezing conditions. It's not just a matter of convenience or comfort, it's a matter of absolute safety. Level 6's Emperor Dry Suit retails for 1200 Canadian dollars. It has latex wrist and neck gaskets with adjustable gasket protectors. It has a rear entry zipper, a relief zipper, articulated spine stitching, Cordura reinforced shoulders, elbows, knees, and seat, three ply built in socks, a fleece lined hand warming chest pocket, and is primarily made of Level 6's exhaust three ply waterproof nylon material. One of the other safety features of a dry suit is that the trapped air in a dry suit acts like a second PFD, providing a tremendous buoyancy boost if you find yourself swimming. Oh. Well, I'd say it passes the float test. Now it's time for the swim test. Well, if you're gonna test something, test it right. That's what I say. Well, I officially dub this dry suit as being tested, as well as my whitewater swimming skills. I failed my whitewater swimming skills, but the Emperor dry suit passed its test. Uh, I'm pretty much dry inside. I am a little bit damp in the arm here, but that's user error. I made the rookie mistake, and this is a good lesson, when you put a gasket, the gaskets on, if you have any of your under layer sticking out or even just under the surface, it acts like a wick and it's gonna wick water inside. So I got, you know, I'm a little damp right there, but that's it, otherwise I'm totally comfortable. Anyway, let's talk about this, the whole L Level 6 Emperor dry suit. My summary of uh, this product, is it worth it? It's 1200 Canadian dollars, which is about right now 950 US dollars. That's not an inexpensive piece of gear. That being said, it is an inexpensive dry suit because dry suits, you have to expect to pay between 900 US dollars on the low end to 1300 US dollars on the high end for a dry suit. And so coming in at around 950 US dollars, this is an inexpensive dry suit. You know, a dry suit in general, is it worth it? Absolutely, if you're gonna be dealing with uh, extreme conditions, extreme cold, freezing, or very cold water, or very cold air temperatures, then it's not just a matter of, it's not a luxury, it's not a convenience, it's a safety necessity. You have to have the right equipment for that type of paddling. It's not, it's not an option. 
Um, so in that case, it absolutely is worth it. But let's talk about the Emperor dry suit itself, starting with, you know, fit. I'm six foot two, 195 pounds. This is an extra large suit. I think it fit me pretty much perfectly. I don't know what you guys think, <laughs> but, but it felt really, it feels really good on me. And what I mean by that really is uh, when I'm in the sitting position, when I was sitting in a kayak, it didn't feel stretched in the legs. I've got long legs, but it didn't feel like it was really tight in that position. Uh, it's sitting forward, you know, in a, in a kayak too. There's no tightness in the lower back. The material wasn't being stretched weirdly. They've designed this suit to uh, be sat in for paddling. So I really like the design. On top of that, it's extra large. There was lots of room in here. It looked really, and it felt really baggy when I first put it on, but that's because I have a single layer on the top, thin layer on the top and bottom. There's plenty of room for me to put a thick fleece layer, bunch of layers even under here, and not feel like the Michelin man and unable to move. So even though it feels a bit baggy and probably looks baggy right now, I've just got thin layers on. This is a great fit for a dry suit. Something else to talk about is the ease of getting it on and off. I haven't tried the off yet, but the on was a good indication of how getting it off will be. Uh, this wasn't an overly difficult dry suit to put on. I typically dread putting dry suits on because it turns you into a bit of a contortionist as you're trying to deal with the zippers behind your back or, or wherever they might be uh, and getting the gaskets on. I don't look forward to it. This one was actually pretty painless. That being said, the rear entry zipper is awkward to get at. That's par for the course for most dry suits. You probably will need help from one of your paddling buddies. That's okay because you shouldn't be paddling alone if you're using a dry suit. That means you're paddling in cold conditions and paddling alone is just a bad, 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 bad idea. So now durability. This thing, I get the impression this thing is gonna be very durable. Like waterproofness goes on anything over time. But the fact that this has the Cordura reinforced knees, butt, elbows, this thing should last a very long time. You're not gonna get those traditional wear points in this thing. At the price it's at, when you're spending around $1,000 for a dry suit, it better last for a long time. And typically my experience with dry suits has been, they do. You know, as long as you get one from a reputable manufacturer, like Level 6, they're gonna last a long time if you take care of them. I have a dry suit, my main dry suit, I've used for over 15 years, taking it on trips, all over the place and I still have total confidence in it. So when you take that in, into account and you look at, okay, well, a thousand bucks spread out over 15, 20 years, well, it's not quite as painful. Now features. Well, what features does this suit have to note? You know, the big one is relief zipper. And if you're gonna get a dry suit, you're gonna spend the money, make sure you spend the extra money and get one with the relief zipper. You are going to kick yourself if you don't. And for women, they have uh, a trap door on the backside. Does the same thing. It saves a lot of frustration and discomfort. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's got some fleece lined pockets on the inside here by the chest. That's a nice little bonus, but to be quite honest, most of the time I have a life jacket on and I like the life jacket to have the fleece lined pockets on them like this one does here. Um, so that's not a big selling feature for me, but whatever, it's a nice little bonus. So in the end, the verdict is, I think this is a great dry suit. Two thumbs up for Level 6's Emperor dry suit. Uh, I would be comfortable taking this on pretty much any type of expedition. And I think it looks pretty good too. I don't know about you, but this lime green. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. And stay tuned. We got lots more paddling tips, gear reviews, and paddling adventures coming your way.